Welcome back to Almighty Garage. So last night I tore this engine down, guys. Uh, that's going on the mini bike. We're going to use one of these five horsepower flatheads for the bike. I'm glad I did because, uh, well, let's see if we can find the piston ring here or the piston. The camera will show it. Yeah, right there. Piston's all chewed up. The bottom oil ring was broke. I found the rest of it in the bottom of the block. Another piece of it. Inside of the cylinder, it's just toasted. You behave, sir. So we're going to go with that green block. And tear it down and uh, hopefully we can use it but yeah I make it probably be honed out get a new piston and rings I don't know it's awful deep scoring and scratches in there pretty pretty deep so what I'm gonna do now is grab that green engine pull the side cover off because that's the one that had the weird crank and uh I'm going to see if I can just throw this crank in it. That's a normal. I believe that's a three quarter. It's either five eighths or three quarter inch shaft. Keyed. And tapped. So. And I'm wondering. Like the Predators. Is this gear right here. Is that. uh For the governor. Instead of governor gear. This is first time. I tearing one of these bricks apart. Did notice it is keyed though. So I'm not sure I'd look into that. I'm hoping we can put this crankshaft in that green engine and use the green one. And uh I'll keep that block around, valves and all that. I mean it ran on starting flood. But uh we could throw we could just throw rings on it and throw it back together, but I would say it'd probably smoke really, really bad. Really just need bottom oil ring. Look how thick and heavy duty they made them back then. It's awesome. Alright, so I'm going to pull these Pull the side cover off, and uh, I'm hoping the crankshaft and uh, everything measures up. Get my mics out. Hopefully the piston is all like this, and uh, we can just swap that crankshaft in and use this engine. Check the piston rings and all that out. So, I'm going to pull this off here, and uh, we'll check it out. I'm hoping this is a good one. They all run on starting fluid, but they don't mean uh, that everything's always good. <laughs> Did drain the oil out best I could. Always going to drop one or two on the floor, ain't you? And one here. Other thing is you want to make sure that these are all the same length when you pull them out. So it looks like they are. Yeah. Okay, they're all out. Let's pull this off. I'm going to have to get my screwdriver and gently pry it apart here. Might be able to pull on this. Hard to do one handed. I'll bring you back in a second. Alrighty. I just took a hammer and gently tapped on the back of these. Let's see if she can get them off now. There we go. And uh, 
Yeah, there's gonna be some oil leaking. So, is it the same as the other engine? Is the big question here. The other engine did not have a bearing here. That I remember. Let me see. Might be making fool. No, it didn't. So this is a better engine, guys. Remember that gear? It just had that gear on the crankshaft. So, ooh, I'm wondering if this crankshaft's going to work in here. Since this one's got a bearing on it. Can we pull the bearing off of this one and put it on that one? I don't see no broken pieces down in there. The governor will pull that off. I guess we'll have to disassemble it and uh, mic everything. The length, the width, tolerances, and all that. And uh, see exactly what we got going on here. But the dipper is the same kind of dipper. Thing it had the governor arm, which when I got when I got that engine there, the side cover, all the bolts were missing, and, it, and when I grabbed it, when I picked it up, it just came right off. So somebody was in there before, as you can see, somebody's already removed the governor, I guess. Ooh, I don't know if this is going to work. Look at the side cover differences on the crankshaft. What do we have to put that side cover on it? Back here. Look at that, guys. No. I think that side cover would work on there. So somebody already took the gun around. That's probably what happened to the the uh, springs. That one's got a seal. That one don't have a seal. And that one's got a bearing on it inside. There wasn't no bearing on the other one. Hmm. Interesting. So. Man. I wonder if it's just take like a, a grinder and do the old hack trick. Just grind this down, cut a keyway into it. It is tapped already. Or if we should just try that. Maybe. Go ahead and pull that governor arm out of there, but we'll have to take all that apart to do that. <sighs> decisions, decisions. Let me think about it, guys. I'll bring you back. Alrighty, that's all pretty much cleaned up. Got the uh, gasket scraped off of it. I'm gonna use some RTV, throw it back together, and uh, try to grind it down and just cut a keyway in it. We'll see how that goes. Alrighty, guys, got the blue RTV gasket dressing. Uh, this is what I use. I'm going to show it to you. Permatex gasket dressing and sealant. Fuel resistant. Pretty good stuff. If there's other stuff you guys uh, use out there that you recommend I try that's better than this, let me know. But anyway, we got the side cover on. We've got our blue showing. I just love this green and yellow and just the look of it. Should have cleaned them little dials up because I had to tap it back on. 
was a, a little burger. Booger. Booger burger. To get back on. It was a little booger. Little booger. Was a little booger burger. So we got one shot and one shot only. It's uh getting this right. You know, you usually you would have a carburetor and have the engine running, start it, and that's spinning, and uh just hold the grinder there and it does the work for you. But we're gonna have to manually do it because as you see we don't have no carburetor hooked up. And I just realized, well, I have two of them. I don't know where the other one's at, but I thought the one I found was it. The uh, Tecumish intakes that you can use on these brigs to put a VM22 style carburetor on. So I'm going to have to find that, uh, hopefully, so we can get a carburetor hooked up to this thing. I'm waiting on that. I'm waiting on a new side cover the other mini bike and I'm waiting on I think that's it crisscross applesauce don't forget kids crisscross applesauce never owned one of these wrist saver 3000s until I bought this kit and man I love this thing it's just it's amazing. For all you torque spec freaks out there, you better just go ahead and turn your head. Torqued. 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 Now we'll give her a nugga dugga. Ooh, one nugga dugga. Because we do just have that sealant on there. So, we don't want them to come loose. We want to get them tires we can get now so that blue sealant with the green and yellow that you can notice at all. I don't even see no sealant there. What are you talking about, sealant? Yeah. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. So how you guys think we should go about doing this? Just, uh, I was trying to find the keyway, which I know I got thousands of, to see the thickness of them, to, uh, match up with grinding disc, because I'm thinking keyway is about the size of a grinding disc, and we just go, get, we'll turn it so it's flat. And uh, we get the grinding desk and do just straight as way as we can. We'll mark it, then uh, check it with the key away every once in a while. Really, the only part that's tapered is the end end right here. I don't think the keyway really needs to be. This don't need to be touched as far as just this tapered part. I don't know how we're going to grind it down to... Ah! I don't know. We're going to finesse something up here, guys. Even if I got to weld onto it, grind it down, weld onto it, grind it down. I want to use this engine. But, of course, we always have the option of throwing a pulley uh, a pulley on here with the belt running back to here on a jack shaft with the clutch running over to the sprocket to the wheel I mean we always got that option well we won't once we start destroying it but yeah guys if uh if you got one of these engines off old road tiller or something and you ain't got no means or ways or nothing to uh you know you don't have to have the clutch on the engine. 
you can have a, a, a pulley on here then go into a jack shaft as long as you got a clutch on your jack shaft that's going to the, from the engine it'll work the same a lot of people don't know that but yeah which that would be a good idea I got a couple of these other engines that got pulleys on them I got that one Honda that's got a pulley on it I don't think it comes off but She's torqued. She's twerked. Twerky girl. I don't see no RVT. What are you guys talking about? It's cool that they got these uh bolts on here already for I guess you can run a small torque converter on here. I've never seen a torque converter on five horsepower before. I wonder if it was the original Comet 20 series. I want to see if this There that goes. I want to see this will go in the shaft. Quit it. Does anybody know what size shaft bolts them are? Because it's a short shaft. Quit it. Mine's always in the gutter. Gutter. Gutter's always in the mine. Thinking about it all the time. We'll leave them in there for now. This is a really, really unique, cool, awesome engine. Uh, it's a haze. Haze, y'all. Mallory Racing. Hearst Shifters. Lakewood. Industries Power Chief. Has anybody seen a Power Chief? This is a 1976 engine. Uh, it's got an on and off custom switch here. I guess we should pull this off because the wire still kill switch is going back here. I did fire this up and run on starting fluid. I would like to pull the head off but eh we're gonna go what do you think the chances are two for two of uh having a bad head and cylinder and all that from 1976 i think uh 99.99 we're gonna run this engine no matter what until she blows or goes so the next thing we got to do is spin you around not around town just around here and uh let me find a keyway and a grinder righty kids don't do this at home this is professionals only so what i figured out is two cutoff wheels put together on there is the same exact thickness that we need to cut for our keyway here. This thing will stay still. Of course it won't. Okay, so I got two cutoff wheels on there. Got really, really tight. And as you can see, it's hard to do on camera, but they fit down in there. Just perfect. Right thickness, everything on both sides. So. Now we're going to mark a straight line on here. I'm going to pull them bolts out so they're not interfering in the way. And uh, I was wondering if I, would, if I should have done this while I had the case off, but now I had to clean it out really good. But it would have been easier. I could have got up closer to it. 
So I don't know what we're going to do about that. We might have to pull it back off. Not sure. I hope not, but I'm going to pull these out, get some glasses on, get this plugged in. Mark a straight line here with the roller. And uh, just see what happens. Alrighty, guys, here goes nothing. Either going to trim this crankshaft down and uh, cut a keyway in it so we can fit a clutch because it's got that weird tapered shaft or uh, we're going to run a crankshaft here. So never know until you try it. So let's see what happens. Hopefully you guys can see why I'm doing it still. Don't look so tapered anymore. So I think we're off to a good start here. We're gonna get the cali the uh, calibers and check it. Ideally, you would want that thing running and uh, it would be spinning and doing the work for you. It's much easier when the engine's spinning and running. You can just hold the grinder there and uh, it'll take shape for you a lot better. But, don't really look uh, too tapered. So I think we're getting there. I'm going to check it with the calipers and see what we got. We'll probably cut our keyway where that little hole is. We'll probably use that side and cut our keyway straight down. Use it as, as a reference, kind of like a reference line. Let's cut our keyway straight down. Yeah. And also... I'm guessing this is a, I thought this was a 5 8 half, but it's a 3 quarters, so. Got the jugger knot here. 
So let's see. This don't have a keyway in it. So let's just see if it'll fit on over yet. Ooh, almost. Just a little more down. Alrighty. I'm hoping I'm not blocking you guys' view too bad. There ain't really nowhere else I can put you at. So you guys can watch. Let's get you up in there. Still only going on halfway. I see right there, it's getting caught on that lump. Okay. So we need, need to work on the back half of it. We need to work on the back half of the shaft behind that little dimple hole I was showing you. So I don't know how good you're going to be able to see this. I'm going to zoom you back out. Try to. Still hitting the same spot, guys. I'm going to uh, turn the camera off. So I'm not boring you guys. I don't know if you can see me. I'll bring it back when I get that to fit. 
Then we'll have to cut the keyway. Would you look at it? Would you just look at it? A 1976 Flathead Briggs & Stratton with the Go Power Sports jug jug inverter on it. jug a jug inverter on it. It's very, very tight, which we want tight. I will have to get a uh, three-quarter inch clutch. I mean, it should be the same as a clutch. I'm going to do just a little more grinding because if not the clutch will get seized on there it gets hot but uh yeah so that's three quarter inch now we just gotta i'm gonna take a little bit more off then we'll start cutting our keyway in it Let's see it's tight definitely gotta push it on there we'll find a sweet spot but i don't want to pull it off so i'll bring you back when we start cutting the uh keyway Alrighty, folks, that was kind of the easier part. Slide right on there. No problems now. This is a 74 millimeter crank, which is three quarter inch. Same as a Predator. I measured my Predator over there. And uh, now it's going to be cutting the keyway, which I'm kind of scared of. I was thinking about taking this side cover back off. I get access I can do up in there so the clutch can go up farther which I mean it goes up pretty close I'd have I always put a spacer in there anyway but uh if I take the side cover off it would make it a lot easier using that big grinder to cut a key away I do have the small disc I could put on my die grinder and use so once I figure out what we're going to use I'm going to draw my line and start cutting hopefully it goes good